Well hello and hi guys, this is one more on Pokemon Stein Codes. In this video we're going over creating a transition effect inside of Gideon. I've been asked a number of times to create this transition effect and I've just been slacking off and not creating it. So this is the all the bit of code that I've used and this is the other bit of code that I've used. And this is all in terms of GD script and the rest is just a simple shader which is well quite simply quite simple <laughs> now that's absurd but that's how it is so you can create a numerous number of effects so this is a different effect now if it is swap out the textures this will be a different effect and so on and so forth you can just keep swapping out the textures uh, and create hundreds and thousands of different effects and this effect is actually there inside of uh, Pokemon game and I've actually seen it from making stuff look good um, or making games look good something like that that's what the channel is called and um, it had a little shader breakdown uh, it's actually for unity but it's quite, quite simple to port it to ghetto and I'm just gonna remove the rulers and also the guides uh, so that there's nothing over here on the screen now let's just delete these two and I'm also going to remove the script and I'll just go to the scripts and delete both of these so I'm now going to show you guys how to create the complete transition effect so as you can see I've used a basic node over here and icons are placed uh, with a little bit of rotation and scaling added to them to add a little uh, effect to our whole scene so that it doesn't look boring and well the reason why I've used this basic node is because now for example if I use this node and hit say trans and now let's add a color rect then now if I go and uh, go to color rect and go to layout and say full rect then as you can clearly see that this rect only uh, takes up the size of this uh, node 2D which is the reason why I don't use Node 2Ds for any kind of uh, primary scenes because I usually like to add screen shaders and effects. Now if I add my color rec to this uh, node, uh, the basic node, and go to layout and say full rec, you can see that it uh, completely surrounds the area of the viewport. Now if I go here and increase the size, then nothing happens and nothing changes. It will just remain a full rec. Uh, effect or a, it will completely cover the screen at all times so that's a little bit of trick that you should keep in mind while creating screen shaders so going back to the material let's go and add a shader material and let's give it a shader type canvas item the render mode is going to be unshaded And we're going to be using the fragment method. And well, that's all. And now we're just going to give it the texture of the screen. So this is called the texture method. And we'll just say screen texture, comma, screen UV. And that's it. Now I can, you can see through the effect completely and now what I want to do is just I'm just going to lock the whole effect so that I cannot change its size or location uh, and let's just go back and let me just prove to you that we've actually sorry let's just change the R value to 1.0 uh, 1 oh sorry I've got a little bit of habit due to GD script and I almost all the time forget to put the semicolon. I probably should start using C Sharp now. Well, the export templates are there. And probably you will see uh, my future videos in C Sharp. But for now, let's just hope that everything remains in GD script for you guys. So uh, let's go back to everything. Let's just create some uniforms that we can use for our, our project. Our, our scene let's just give it some float a uh, cut off and let's just give it the hint 
color oh sorry not color but actually be range just zero comma one point zero Then there will be the float. Well, I'm just gonna call it. Oh no, not not float. It will be a sampler 2D, and I'm just gonna call the sampler 2D by the name. Uh, let's just give it filter and hint. Albedo. Sorry, and that should do it. And let's just quickly go ahead and add some effects. So, if let's give it a vec4 x equal to, uh, you can just delete this and hit Control B, and rather than screen texture, just say filter, and rather than color, you can just say vec4 x, and over here you can say text R. You can also get the luminosity if you want to, but uh, for this case, this is going to work just as fine. So we'll just say less than cutoff. If that's true, we're just going to say color dot RGB equal to back three. You can also set up a different uniform color uh, and use that, but it's fine for me uh, and fine for the purposes that I want to use it. But as you can see, there's no image so let's just go and give it a texture I'm gonna give it the most basic type of gradient there is and as you can see that we quite simply have our effect so we are finally complete our shader effect but there is a bit of a problem and you will notice it when I add the, all the scripts and make this complete so let's just quickly go and give it transition.g script and let's just quickly go and give this one and Transition effect GD script, and with this all done, I'm just gonna delete everything and just create a variable. Call it cut off equal to zero comma zero, and now let's just create a function process. We'll just say material dot set. So now we're just gonna access the shader parameter value. So now if you know how to do uh, the shader parameters you can just go ahead and do it yourself You can skip this part for a few seconds, but let me just do it for you guys shader param slash Cut off comma Cut off so that's it and if you are not familiar with the set function Everything in Ghetto has set function. You, this allows you to access properties that are not easily accessible. So this is a much better way of t setting up things. Well, actually, I feel that way. And now let's go back to the node. And over here, we only need the ready function. Uh, so I probably should not delete it. And I'm just going to say, um, we're going to say delete and delete all this. I do not need any of that. Now, all that we need to do is just say, okay, I will need tween dot, okay, there is no tween at the moment. I almost forgot that we are not having any tween. Just say, tween, use the tween dot interpolate property and property that we're going to be interpolating is going to be the property of effect and the property is going to be called cutoff and this cutoff value is actually going to be this cutoff and not the other one and just to set up the other cutoff we're just gonna uh, use this method over here so the initial value is going to be 0, 0 0.0 final value 1.0 and then, well, quite simply, we can say uh, 
duration then we can say linear elastic bounce uh, quite a few uh, I'm probably gonna say stick with quint quint and uh, sign are probably one of my uh, top most choices when I create animation or at least uh, simpler animations I like to use these two so just say green dot start and we should just see our effect in motion and it looks good so with that out of the way let me just delete all these and uh, in the next video I will likely be covering the outline shader that we have created so uh, if I just go and hit play again then you can see that at the edge or uh, at the right edge there's a little bit uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video but there's a little bit of gap and complete effect is not being covered up and so do, to deal with that all that we have to do is just add an or and say cut off greater than 0 0.999 and make sure to give it at least three decimal places and if you just say nine then it will just do it three radically at the point where it hits nine but this way it will almost be perfectly accurate and you will not even probably notice it as you can see you won't i didn't even notice it if you did you can tell me and probably even increase a decimal place over there but i don't think that it is needed so with all that done we have finally completed our shade effect and I hope you liked this video and you learned something new from it and if you did just subscribe I will be creating more videos uh, currently I'm busy uh, with some of my work and all but uh, studies and all that stuff but soon I will be having a lot of free time I hope and then I will be able to create a whole lot more videos so until then this is going to be a goodbye and if you like the video just like it and if you disliked it just tell me in the comment section what you disliked about it and I will try to improve myself bye for now and see you guys later